What is up guys? We've made a video about most of the planets in the solar system. Only the last two planets are left, Uranus and Neptune. Today we're gonna talk about these two. The first planet we get to is Uranus because it's closer to us. Until the end of the 18th century, Uranus wasn't discovered yet, but after a while, in 1781, they finally found it. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. The distance between Uranus and the Sun is 20 times the distance between the Earth from the Sun. As you guys know, the distance between Earth and the Sun is around 150 million kilometers, and 20 times that means 3 billion kilometers. This faraway planet from its star, it takes it 84 years to do one rotation around the Sun. Meaning one year on this planet is 84 Earth years. If you could somehow live on Uranus, every 21 years, a season on Uranus would go by. When four seasons on Uranus pass, a human lifetime is coming to an end as well because it takes it 84 years to do one rotation. Even though Uranus is not the farthest planet from the sun, but it's still the coldest planet in the solar system. The temperature on this planet could go as low as negative 223 degrees Celsius. And the reason for this coldness is the gas that it has. Because if you didn't know, Uranus is a gas planet. The atmosphere of this planet, meaning the spot we can see, is made up of hydrogen, helium, and methane. When you pass the top layer, you get to a thick layer of ice. Ices that are made up of water, ammonia, and methane. And in the end, you get to a rocky core. Uranus is about four Earths wide. One of the reasons that Uranus is one of the coldest planet is that outside of the planet is obviously cold and that thick layer of ice underneath makes it even colder. All the planets in the solar system rotate horizontally, but Uranus is the only planet that rotates vertically. The equator of this planet is also vertical. And most of the time, one of its poles is facing the sun. Scientists believe the reason that this planet is tilted is because it experienced a crash. A crash that was probably caused by a planet or an asteroid. And it hit Uranus so hard that it tilted it to the side. And the ring that was formed around it was probably because of the debris from the crash. Not only did the debris create about 13 rings around the planet, but 27 moons came out of it as well. And the moons, just like the planet, rotate vertically, kind of like a giant ferris wheel. A ferris wheel in space. When western people would discover these planets, they would put a Roman or Greek name on it. Uranus in Greek means the god of the heaven. This planet is everything but heaven. Every night and day on Uranus is 17 hours and 14 minutes long, meaning in that time, it rotates around itself once. But we said the rotation around the sun takes about 84 years. But let's go in the spaceship Turn it on, which is the last planet in the solar system. After that, there is no other planet. There is one that has been fired, which we made a video on. Let's go. The distance between Uranus and Neptune is 1,650,000,000 kilometers. But our speed is really fast even faster than the speed of light. If you don't believe me, watch this. This is Neptune, a far away blue planet. 
This planet is so far away from the sun that one year on this planet takes 165 Earth years. Each season on this planet takes 41 and a half years. The distance between the Sun and Neptune cause it to be really cold, but not the coldest planet. Like we said, Uranus is closer than Neptune, but it's still the coldest planet in the solar system. But Neptune is not far off as well. Neptune's core is about one and a half times the Earth. Meaning, if you delete all the gas around this planet, you get a rocky planet that's about one and a half times Earth. 45% of the mass in this planet is this rocky core. Just like Uranus, the next layer is made up of different types of ice. Ice water, ice ammonia, and ice methane. And the thick layer of gas outside is made up of different gases like hydrogen, helium, and methane. The blue color you see on this planet is caused by the methane gas in the atmosphere. This planet is basically like a beautiful snake. The nice blue color is inviting and you think it's a happy place. But on this planet, there are storms that you can't even wrap your head around. Think about it, when there is a storm on planet Earth, it doesn't get faster than 300 kilometers an hour. And that basically destroys whatever it's in its way. And this storm doesn't happen everywhere on Earth. These storms and thunderstorms mainly happen around Oklahoma State in the US. But in Neptune, the storms are always active. And the speed is not only 300 kilometers an hour, but it's around 2,000 kilometers an hour. Scientists say the speed of the storm on this planet is so fast that it breaks the sound barrier. And that is why it goes faster than the noise itself. Meaning, if somehow you could stand on Neptune, the storms would come to you without any sound and destroy you. Because the noise is far away behind the storm itself. A storm and wind that doesn't have sound basically. Neptune has six rings as well, but you can't really see it because it's thin. There are also 14 moons that revolve around this planet. Neptune's biggest moon is Triton. In Greek, Triton means son of a god of the sea. They might have gave Triton this name because the planet looks like a sea. Out of any planet in the solar system, we know the least things about Neptune. First of all, it's really far from us and only one space probe has ever passed by it. Voyager 2 in 1989 did a flyby at a distance of 5,000 kilometers. In the space differences, that's extremely close. And this probe helped us figure out the things we're explaining in this video. It has been more than 30 years since a space probe passed around this planet. See, this is the solar system, and we've made a video about most of these. We hope you enjoy.